Transference In order to facilitate transference, climbers are going to want to climb on a variety of different angles and perform drills or climbs that will address their weaknesses in order to continually facilitate new skill acquisition. This could mean climbing on slab and then overhang, or it could be as something as simple as working on a move that you feel really uncomfortable with. And that's most likely because your body isn't used to performing that type of move in that manner. So the more practice, the better. Here's a good example of what transference can look like on the same route. At first, the climber does not have the skill acquisition in order to match his hands and place his foot. In the next clip, you see that he's able to slightly progress and match his hands after learning the route. And in the final clip, you'll see that he is able to get his hands matched and then his foot up in order to progress throughout the route, which is a good example of what the phenomenon of transference looks like. The acquisition of one skill leading to the easier acquisition of another.